So at this point, it seems like Jada Pinkett Smith's attempts to embarrass her husband, and herself for that matter, are never going to end. Years ago, this couple was looked up to with admiration by many as an example of a good relationship. J. Cole even had his now infamous line about wanting that Jada and that Will love, but these days that seems much more like a curse than a blessing on all accounts. I mean, at this point, it's almost like saying you want that Adam and that Lena love. That's just nasty. Because ever since this dude August came out and said he was smashing Jada in Will's very own home, things have really never been the same for this entire family. I actually sat down with Will and had a conversation. He gave me his blessing. And I, I totally gave myself to that relationship for years of my life. And obviously the worst part of all was the intervention that Jada hosted on her Facebook show, The Red Table Talk, with no other than the Fresh Prince himself. I felt like it was important to come to the table to really clear the air. Where Will sat there and looked like a kid whose puppy just escaped from their backyard, as his wife not only confirmed these rumors, but also made sure everyone knew that she thoroughly enjoyed, in her words, what was an entanglement with one of her son's friends. We actually we became really, really good friends. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. Mm -hmm. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. Yeah. Since then, Will has been embarrassed multiple times, and I feel like his career has never really been the same. Because he really got knocked off this pedestal of being like an icon and a borderline legend, to being someone who is now kind of seen as a joke, you know, this guy kind of turned into an internet meme. I love my baby, I'm gonna stand by my baby no matter what. We ride together, we, we die, die together. together. Bad marriage for life. <laughs> And now one of the main culprits in aiding in this humiliation ritual has been Tupac, who obviously Jada was very close to in her adolescence, and this is a man she has described time and time again as her soulmate gone too soon. She shared love letters from this man, she always talks about how much she misses him, how she talks to his ghost, and recently it's been just kind of more the same. In this latest edition of What Will She Do Next, Will had posted this picture on her birthday two weeks ago, where he says, Happy birthday, mamita. I've been to 28 of your birthday parties. I don't know if we're ever going to top the one that Rakim performed at, but here's to a lifetime of trying. Hashtag walking each other home. Now, obviously, with the current state of the internet and how many people like to clown on this relationship, Will had to turn off the comments for this post. He also shared a bunch of pictures from her, presumably from a bunch of different birthday events that, you know, he threw for her where she's performing with Rakim and just in general having a good time, kind of just something you would see from a husband commemorating his wife's birthday. And here's where the embarrassment really sets in for Will. As in response to that Instagram post, a couple days later Jada hopped on her own Instagram to share this excerpt from her upcoming memoir where she talks about Tupac and how much he meant to her. Not in a million years would I have dreamed that the Fresh Prince and I would become, um, very acquainted. Not in a million years did I imagine three lives, three fates, would be so intertwined. And the three lives that she's talking about there is her, Will, and Tupac. I mean, that's like your girl coming up to you and saying, hey, you know, you, me, and my ex, who I always call my soulmate. Yeah, it's like we're in this weird thropple where we are going to exist forever. Can you guys imagine just the sick feeling in your stomach? Just the level of disrespect is already off the charts. And I never would have imagined that this video would become a tangible memory of the last time Pac and I were simply kids together. So yeah, like I said, that was an excerpt from her upcoming book, Worthy, coming October 17th. And just a little side note, does anyone think that the uh, cover art for this book reminds you a lot of that picture ah. of the baby where they say his head looks like a PT Cruiser? And here's where the level of disrespect kind of just reaches an all-time high. I'm sure a lot of you guys were wondering, hey, I wonder what they were dancing to, I wonder what they were singing along to. And the song that they're performing here is no other than one of Will Smith's very first hits, Parents Just Don't Understand. So you are the kid falling off the land. So you are the kid falling off the land. 
So she's like one of my fondest memories with this guy ever who I love so much who I can never forget about you know I'm Ryan Lairs to his ghost was dancing along to my husband's song with him can you imagine when Will goes in the car he throws on the phone he puts his own songs on mix and this shit comes on I mean I'm sure it has his ass wanting to swerve into the nearest tree like I wonder if some point she will ever actually read the room or if she just kind of thoroughly enjoys embarrassing him in this way. Like, I get that they were best friends, I get that they were lovers, but at some point it's like, the guy has been dead for almost 30 years. Like, I don't care who you are, you cannot compete with the dead man. Like, recently I was watching the newest season of Love is Blind on Netflix, and there's this contestant named Johnny. Okay, she had a couple connections in there, there was a couple guys feeling her. That is until she breaks out this story about this ex-boyfriend who ended up ODing. She starts crying saying, oh, he was the only man I ever loved. I've never truly been able to get over him. Oh, and by the way, I was also married one other time. This bald guy is in there. He's like, so you're saying you got married to someone who wasn't the guy who OD'd. So you got married to someone who you didn't actually love. And this girl was like, oh yeah, that was just kind of like a rebound marriage to which the guy much like mark cuban replies i'm out and you guys might have been wondering well what is will smith doing in the midst of all of this drama well apparently he's going on a date with a robot i mean i guess you can say that will definitely has a type this is looking a lot like jada and i don't really understand why they're trying to normalize this whole ai robot thing so badly giving them faces having them show up in the stands at various football games like, I think it's only so long before one of these sick, lonely fucks marries one of these robots. Like, it'll be officially recognized in the court of law. Keep my robot's name out your fucking mouth. There's actually an old clip of Tupac and Jada. I believe this is from uh, the old TV show, A Different World. And it really is quite prophetic. Well, maybe I'll be down to scoop you up later in life. You ain't all shriveled up. <laughs> you could be like Ozzy Davis and Ruby D. You know, you always got a place in my heart. And that seems to be the absolute truth. Even almost 30 years after this man is gone, she seemingly cannot let him go. They have even recently arrested this man who was apparently in association with the murder of Tupac. And Jada, of course, had to chime in with her take via Instagram, where she says, Now we can get some answers and have some closure. Rest in peace, Pac. And this guy they arrested, by the way, just kind of a big dummy. He professed time and time again in various interviews throughout the years that he pretty much had at least some association with his death. But that's really another topic for another video. Y'all let me know what you guys think about this continual embarrassment down below. It's almost like every time the season changes, something new happens for Will. But as always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and some other embarrassing celebrities out here need to be covered. So I'm out. Peace. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for life. life. <laughs>